Hi, Mike Downing again. And yes, I did not answer that question that I asked you about plywood. And that was to trick you into staying here and watching the second segment of this video. Plywood is used in drums for two reasons in particular. Number one, it adds a stability so that the shell itself maintains round. Uh, you don't want it to warp, etc. The second thing that it is, is if you're going to drill holes and mount brackets on it for your tensioners to go on there, your tension lugs, then what's going to happen is over time, if it was a single ply shell, it would rip right through the ply, uh, the single ply or the single ply of wood versus uh, the plywood, which gives it a lot more strength so you're able to dog down on it without elongating the holes. Plywood, though, to sound is the same as layers of clothing is to cold weather. When you put plies together, it actually insulates the sound, so you're not getting the full sound out of the drum. Preferably, you would want to have a single ply shell. A single ply shell would be great, but it'll rip through on a conventional drum. With this particular system, since the pressure is downward on the, on the shell itself, you can have a single ply shell in this drum, and it also increases the sound value and clarity a tremendous amount. Thickness of this shell, how many plies you have, or the thickness, is a very, very simple principle on it. The thinner the shell, the less it takes to get it to resonate. The thicker the shell, the more it takes, as far as vibration, in order to get it to start to vibrate and to resonate. So with that in mind, if you want to have a drum that has a lot more crack to it, then you would have a thicker shell. If you want a drum with a lot more warmth and you know a fat sound to it, single ply or a thinner shell is the way to go. All right, we have this drum together, and now that I answered that question from the previous one, the next one.